I've known the festival for for some time, and I've uh, and I've uh, followed the um, I followed the program because um, I think the um, the approach that you you have here to queer cinema, well, is something that really interests me. The, um, this very broad notion of queer film, which I think is the true spirit of what is queer. Uh, it's that's that's also why. Um, it's not called gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual film. It's called queer because it's it's much it's much broader, and uh, you can really it's it's a much more challenging concept. And I think this festival really approaches the um, queer cinema in that way. So that's really interesting for me. My first time here in uh, Sicily and in Palermo. It's very wonderful. Very I was very curious for for some time to be here. I've never been to this south part of Italy, so it's, uh, it's quite, an, quite a, an overwhelming experience. I've, I've already been in contact with some... Uh, I've uh, known Roy Dib, but only virtually for some time. We just, uh, we just uh, met now. And, uh, and also the other members, I, I, I haven't never met them personally, so now I'm getting to meet them. And it, I think it's going to be very interesting because we're, we come from very different um, backgrounds, very different um, experiences towards uh, queer film. So it's going to be, I believe, a really interesting discussion in the end. Looking forward. <laughs> um, the, the films in competition, I think, are again going to be very challenging because they're very they're very different um, there are much more there are some more not, not many but more commercial approaches but then there are a lot of uh, more experimental more ground groundbreaking films so it's um, to me that that's very good in a, in a in a competition because it really the discussion is never only about what is the, um, the best film, but um, what are we looking for as uh, what is, what do we want to award as a, as a prize in a, um, in a queer festival? So, I mean, if we look at a film like uh, Tangerine, which is being very, very successful, and it, it, I mean, it really is something that you could immediately um, um, tag as a queer film. It has all the elements of a queer film, besides the, the, the very interesting experimental uh, approach uh, to it, being done with, uh, with phones and everything. Uh, so so that's, al that's also something very, very interesting, this groundbreaking thing that, uh, that the film has. Um, but then there are others that are much more conventional, but um, with very strong queer plots. So let's see what happens. So I'm, uh, I'm the artistic director of um, Queer Lisboa, which is ha happening in September this year, and it will be the 20th edition. Uh, and then we're having also the second edition of Queer Porto this uh, next uh, October. Well, Queer Lisboa has a very long history. Um, it's, uh, it was, it's the first film festival to happen in Lisbon, so it's the oldest one now. We're older than the independent film festival or a documentary or animation film festivals. So it's very... Um, it's funny that uh, it's... It, in Lisbon, the oldest festival is a queer one, so I, uh, and I think that's good, and, and it's something that um, also City Hall is in a way very proud of. They always promote that in, in, uh, in that way, so it's really gratifying. Um, Krillish Boy is, has been growing a lot. It has, uh, it has very solid sponsorships from City Hall, from the Ministry of Culture, and from a lot of private uh, enterprises also. Um, it's been, we have, um, five competition sections it's uh, we have over 100 films every year for, during during nine days we have a lot of guests so it's been growing a lot in, in terms of um, uh, its uh, its outreach and also its uh, its structure Porto we started last year 
It's been a project we've been wanting to do for a long time. But the problem was to get local sponsorship because we didn't, we never wanted to do in Porto um, an extension of, uh, of the Lisbon program. First of all, because I mean, the cities are 300 kilometers apart. So, I mean, if there's an audience in Porto interested in coming to Lisbon, it's easy for them to access. <laughs> And also, we, we felt that, it, uh, I mean, Porto is a, is a city that is so rich culturally uh, and socially that um, we wanted to do a different festival there. And the Porto Festival is a much more art-oriented one. We not only have film, but we have exhibitions, installations. Uh, we work with, uh, with art schools there. So, and it's a smaller festival, it's only five days. Um, but it's a much more transdisciplinary festival, which, which as, as a programmer, not only for me, but I'll put for all the other programmers in the team, is something very challenging. Also because we're not repeating Lisbon. We're not, we, we don't have the same um, state of mind while we're programming for Lisbon and programming for Porto. So, um, so th that was also good for us. So we're not just doing another festival. No, it's a different festival. Uh, with, uh, with a different philosophy. The first edition went really well. It, uh, it um, exceeded our expectations, um, which, which was gratifying because we felt that the audience wanted something like that in Porto. And uh, this year the festival is going to be bigger. So let's see, we're looking forward to that also.